It is very, very hard. You know, it's quite interesting. In the course of this debate, there have been more than a few newspaper articles, more than a few attacks from our friends on the Democratic side of the aisle and also from our friends on the Republican side of the aisle. I told my wife I now pick up the newspapers each day to learn just what a scoundrel I am and just what attack will have come, some on the record and, and some actually the ones that are they're often even better are the anonymous ones. I have to say there, there is no courage like the courage in Washington of the anonymous congressional staffer. Um, I've chuckled at more than a few of them. But you know, it says something, Mr. President, that members of this body, that congressional staffers, that members of the media, want to make this about personalities. They want to make this about a battle of this senator versus that senator, this person versus that person. So it's all personal. It's like reading the Hollywood gossip pages. That's how this issue is covered. And it's not by accident. Because one of the ways Washington is discovered for not listening to the people is distract, distract the voters with smoke, smoke and mirrors. Mr. President, this fight is not about any member of this body. This fight is not about personalities. Look, most Americans could not give a flying flip about a bunch of politicians in Washington. Who cares? You know, almost all of us are in cheap suits with bad haircuts. Who cares? What the American people care about is their own lives. What the American people care about is giving their kids a better future. What the American people care about is having a job, a job with a future. Not a job where they're working 29 hours a week, where they're punching a clock, where they feel like they're just going through the motion, but a job where they say, hey, I've got a career. I can see the next step. I can see the future for my family. That's what the American people care about. And so, Mr. President, regardless of the rocks that will be thrown, and they will continue to be thrown, I have no intention of engaging in that game. No intention of speaking ill of any senator, Republican or Democrat. Because it's not about us. And anyone who is trying to make this a battle of personalities is trying to change the topic from the topic that should matter. Whether or not Obamacare is helping the American people. Mr. President, if you focus on the substance, the evidence overwhelming. This law is a train wreck. And every day, the headlines come in. More jobs lost, more people losing their health insurance, more premiums going up, more people pushed into part-time work. And yet every day, Mr. President, the United States Senate goes about its business and says, we're too busy to listen to the American people. Now, there are different games, to be sure that go on on both sides of the aisle. Many of our friends on the Democratic side of the aisle right now endeavor to convince the American people, pay no attention to your lying eyes, Obamacare really is a terrific thing. 